Hi everybody, Dan Moran here from Concierge Diamonds. Today is Wednesday, May 30th, 2018. And I don't know if you've seen the news, but a couple of days ago, De Beers made a pretty significant announcement. They announced that they were going to start selling synthetic lab-grown diamonds through their subsidiary Lightbox at retail directly to consumers. Now that's a pretty big deal because De Beers remains the largest producer miner of natural diamonds in the world. And for years, they've said publicly that they wouldn't get into the synthetic diamond business. In fact, they're the folks behind the very popular Real is Rare campaign that you've seen promoting natural diamonds uh, for some time. So why are they doing this? What's this all about? Well, one of the things that they announced is, uh, many people don't know this, but De Beers has for years been the largest manufacturer of synthetic diamonds in the world. Uh, they just don't sell them to consumers. They've been manufacturing them for, for industrial purposes. So De Beers has been making synthetic diamonds for saw blades for a long, long time. And they've got a huge production capacity. Uh, in fact, they have the largest production capacity for synthetics in the world. So they're using that uh, economy of scale to drive down the price of synthetic diamonds. They've already announced that they'll be selling synthetics for a fraction of what everybody sells them for today. So a synthetic diamond, they said, that currently costs about $4,000, they'll be selling for about $800. So it's a very, very significant change in pricing from synthetics today. Uh, today, synthetics sell at a, at a discount to natural of about 25, 30%. Now this is gonna be at a discount of 80 to 90%, so it's a big change. And De Beers has announced that they're selling this through their Lightbox subsidiary, which is a, a subsidiary that makes fashion jewelry. In other words, not fine jewelry. And De Beers in their, in their statement said, we want uh, millennials and other consumers to have the option to buy jewelry that's just for fun. In other words, not an important piece of jewelry, something that's cheap enough and kind of disposable enough, if you will, that people can buy it just for fun, if you want a fun bracelet or a fun pair of earrings or what have you. So what's that all about? Well, De Beers has a history of doing this kind of thing, you guys. What they do when they, when they, they face competition that they're, they're not happy with for whatever reason is they enter that market, drive the price down, eliminate competitors, and then decide what they're gonna do about it. So I think that's what's gonna happen here, and I'm not the kind of person to say I told you so, but if you look at old YouTube videos or Reddit posts of mine, I've been saying they were gonna do this for some time. I've been predicting this was gonna happen. Um, I've been saying for a while that the price of synthetic diamonds will very, very soon be a small fraction of the price of natural diamonds, and that's why synthetics are a bad investment. And that is now coming to pass. That day is here, and I think we'll see in the, in the next 24 to 36 months a very significant devaluation of synthetic diamonds. So what does that mean for the rest of us? Well, if you're in the, if you're in the lab-grown diamond business today, if you're a brilliant earth, or if you're a CVD diamond guy, or an HPT, HPHT diamond guy, you better find something else to do, because unless you're a massive company, you're gonna have a lot of trouble competing on price and on marketing with De Beers. And you're gonna be feeling that pressure. Now, I've talked to a lot of people in the CVD diamond business, and they can't produce diamonds for the price that De Beers can. So, if you're losing money on every stone, you're gonna have a problem really, really fast. So if you're in the synthetic diamond business, you better find another part of the market to attack. What if you're a consumer considering buying a lab-grown diamond? Well, I would definitely pump the brakes on that because that stone that you're getting ready to spend four or five or eight or $10,000 on today will be worth 20% of what it's worth now, 10% of what it's worth now next year. So maybe wait till next year when you can get it much cheaper. Maybe buy something else, buy a Mawsonite, buy a Swarovski crystal, buy a cubic zirconia, buy some other disposable stone. Or maybe you wanna go with the real thing after all, because at the end of the day, De Beers isn't gonna do anything to undermine the natural diamond business. That's what they do. And way before De Beers existed, natural diamonds, real diamonds, were a prized and valued and highly expensive uh, method of transporting wealth and of encapsulating wealth. So. Real diamonds have held value for 5,000 years. They were here before De Beers, they'll be here after De Beers. They're not going anywhere. So if you want a just for fun disposable piece of jewelry, today you can buy crystals, you can buy CZs, you can buy mossonites, and now you'll be able to buy synthetic diamonds. But if you want an important piece of jewelry, if you want an engagement ring, if you want something meaningful and significant that will be an heirloom for your family, for generations to come, stick to a natural real stone, whether that's a diamond or a sapphire or a ruby or what have you. 
stick to a product of mother nature if you want something that's hold val that, that's going to hold value for the long term because as we're now seeing a live example of it's not going to be a synthetic i hope you found that valuable uh Feel free to shoot me any questions and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. You can comment here. You can find me on Reddit where I go by Diamond Dealer or you can email me, info at conciergediamonds.com. Thanks, guys.